Here we go. We're back. Come on in here. Oh, that devil's a liar. Hey, y'all. Ooh, that thing was fighting. Part two. Uh-uh. That thing don't want this out. That devil fighting this. Who is the prince of the power of the air? Satan is. I can't bring nothing this big, this huge, this humongous without him warring to try to shut it down. But he can't shut it down. We are back. In Jesus' name, prophets, oh, prophets, pew, prophets don't sell, don't self-label themselves prophets. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. Now, come on on here, y'all. Everybody come on, but a lot of them tell you quick, I'm a prophet. Fine, I love prophets. Come on. Some of them will show up, I'm a prophet, I'm a prophet. Well, if you're a prophet, then God's talking to you. Then I want to hear what the Lord, what does said the Lord. Okay, here we go. Come on now. We back on now. Facebook Live. Thanks for uh, holding on while we got Periscope together. Because that devil attacked Periscope big time. Trying to shut this thing. Shoot him, South Carolina. You better be glad you're on here. Call every prophet, prophet. Call everybody. You devil's already fighting it. That's right. Say what God said, not what they wanted. Thank you. Oh, oh. now. This is. This is about. Because I had to come back on again because the devil froze Periscope up. Tried to shut me down, but he can't do it. Prophets who said that Donald Trump would lose and that Hillary Clinton would win the election as the president of the United States of America. The prophets prophesied that God said it. God told them. Without a doubt, God told me, that's it. Done deal. Don't fret. God did it. Lots of presidents. <laughs> I love it. Hallelujah. That's oops, not a prophet. Thanks. Now, oops, not a prophet. Now, get this. If you're a real prophet, then the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What you prophesy, it shall be exactly the way you said it because God said it. The all knowing, mm, omniscient God said it. Now, I'm going to tell you again. David had a prophet named Gad. He was a seer. He was a seer. David's seer. Ooh. Now look now. Look what 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 the what God said to Gad. And Gad had to go and tell him exactly what God said. He said, Go and say unto David, thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Go and tell David. You taking your life in your own hands when you go into a king. Back then. You go to the king as a seer, as a prophet. First of all, that David and any king's going to believe you. They're not going to doubt it. They didn't doubt the prophets back in the day. When a prophet spoke, they, Donald Trump is the plan of God. Hallelujah. Talk to me. Tell the world. Now, get this now. Uh oh, we're going to read some stuff, y'all. Now, now, I'll tell you what a prophecy is. We're on part two, a foretelling prediction, declaration of something to come. As only God knows. God knows with certainty. Okay. Here we go now. I'm ready. Here we go. And the devil can't stop it. The devil can't shut it down. Now. Are y'all ready for this? You better. You better. Even after this is over. You call the prophets that you know. You call the preachers that you know. And you tell them to replay this. Because this is real. I'm going to first. I'm going to uh, Ezekiel. I'm going to Ezekiel. God showed me this. I'm going to the book of Ezekiel. And when I go here, it's going to blow your mind. Do you hear me? It's going to blow your mind. Ezekiel is going to blow your mind. I'm going to the 12th chapter of Ezekiel. And starting there, it's going to blow your mind. The Isaiah never self label. Remember, we're in a new day and a new time. And you know how it is with modern things. Little things change here, little change there. But one thing that don't change, and that's God and his word. Woo. Hallelujah to that. Now, Ezekiel. Now, now I'm going to show you how, how important it is to be a prophet that hears from God and know that you hear from God. Let me show you how humongous it is to our father in heaven that his prophets 
take what he declared and what he showed them and what he gave them and that what what comes from him is what they prophesy. Ezekiel, let's start with 12, 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to get to that too. <laughs> For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak. Prophets, for I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Stop right there. See law that. Come on, y'all see law that. Take that in. For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It's right there. Yeah. Prophetess Pew is right there. He said it shall come to pass. He, he didn't say that, that, that it shall come to pass and one day it might not come to pass and some of it might not come to pass and, and, and the little ones and the big ones. But no, he said it shall. I shall speak and it shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it. If he said the word that Hillary Clinton should be the president of the United States of America, then she's supposed to be president. You heard me? You heard me? They don't fear God anymore, so they lie. Ooh. I'm going to give them this. And it's going to make some changes in the prophetic. It's going to make some real changes. The whole United States of America... Put this on CNN News. Put this on Fox. Let me tell you something right now. If God said that Hillary would win, she should have won. Mm. Oh, I'm going to tell you who's prophesying through them. Mm. Uh, old rebellious house, will I say the word? <laughs> and we'll perform it, said the Lord God. Therefore, verse 28, I'm, I'm in uh, uh, Ezekiel 12, 28. Therefore, I say unto them, thus said the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord God. Then if I'm a prophet, I'm prophet from God. The whole church, I'm telling you, you know that I'm prophet so and so. And I said it, I said it three, four months ago, before now. I said Hillary Clinton was the brand new president of the United States of America and Trump better go back to the Trump Towers as a loser. But God said, if I spoke it to that prophet, then it shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. But it wasn't done. Not as they prophesied, the ones that prophesied that Hillary would win and Trump would lose. But hold on. Now we get going to get to some serious meat now. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, we get ready to get to some meat now. Verse chapter 13 of Ezekiel. Here we go. Get this. Starting with the first verse. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. What? Out of their own hearts. What is that telling you? I'm going to tell you what it's telling me. That the prophets wanted to prophesy what was in their own heart, self. They were telling people what they wanted to hear. They felt that no one wanted to hear, <laughs> no one wanted to hear, I love it, that Trump would win. Especially if you were a black man or woman of God, prophet or prophetess. You and Hispanic, you definitely, hallelujah, Sister, mm, Sister Thelma, Pastor Thelma. Oh, Sister Thelma in South Carolina. 
She was saying, Pastor, calling me Pastor. God bless you. Now, hold on. If they're prophesying out their own heart, then they wanted to tell black America what they wanted to hear. They felt that blacks didn't want to hear that Trump, they felt that Trump was a racist. So let me just step in and get a big name. I already have a, some of them already had a big name, but here's some looking to get a big name. And let me just prophesy these things. So everybody know that, that I had and I was right about who is the president months ahead of time. Prophesy in their heart. Churches were glad to hear these prophets, especially blacks, especially black churches, especially blacks all over. We talking about rich blacks, poor blacks. We talking about educated blacks. We talking about athletes. We talking about coaches. We talking about college professors, lawyers, doctors, whoever. They love that prophecy that Hillary would win because if they were voting for Hillary, if they were against Trump and a prophet come on and said, God said it, Christians started believing it. They took it. But hold on now. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Ezekiel 13, 3, woe unto the foolish prophets. Mm. Mm. I didn't say it. I didn't call them foolish. Don't say Pastor Angelo called them foolish because I didn't. God said, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Uh-oh. 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 Whoa, they said they saw, some said they saw a vision of the president. They saw Hillary in the White House sitting in the Oval Office. They saw her taking the oath in January, seeing nothing. Ooh. Yeah, they lied on God. Ooh, woo. Somebody going to have to repent. He is a forgiving God, but there's a whole lot of prophets got to repent, not for being wrong. They don't have to repent for being wrong. They got to repent for saying, saying that they were prophesying on behalf of God. That God said it. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Oh my God. He's not talking about all prophets. He's not talking about the real prophets now. He's not talking about the true prophets now. He's talking about the one who who prophesied from their own heart, he said, out of their own spirit, not from the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit will come on behalf of God and speak, and speak into your spirit and tell you what the Father said this, God said this, God said, go tell it. Tell it at this time. Tell it at that time. This is what's coming and when it's coming, how it's coming, who is coming by. Everything God gets correct. I'm not finished. I'm still in the 13th chapter of Ezekiel. This is in the desert. That's not good. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. What? Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, the Lord saith. Saith, I'm a prophet, and the Lord saith, I'm a prophetess, and the Lord heard from God, and the Lord saith, I will sleep in my bed, and through a dream, through a night vision, the Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. May others to hope, there it is, that they will confirm the word. Selection. They gave out false hope. There are others with hope. This is why they're rioting in the streets. A lot of them. They're so you to be prophets. <laughs> I'll tell you why one. I'm not going to tell you in this. But God already gave me revelation that years ago. Why people are eager to be prophets without getting the anointing to be a prophet. That's easy. I am told my church to answer. I have the answer to that. But I give it to you. But I'm not moved to give it to you tonight. I'm dealing with this thing with Hillary and Trump. 
the prophets that prophesied the election and said, God said it. Sometimes, no, it's money, but there's something else be, that, can't, that comes before the money. Money is in there, but that's not the first reason. God gave me the number one reason. Now, get this now. Gave people false hope. <clears throat> All these people are upset, depressed, angry, mad. Some are getting violent. Some can't sleep. Some are in anxiety. Anxiety means that there's a fear of the future. The fear of something that has not happened yet. Depression is happening now. Jesus Christ. Mm. Prophets gave him false hope. Told them that Hillary would be the president. They believed it. Look seven in Ezekiel 13. Have ye not seen a vain vision? What's a vain vision? What does that mean? Vain means empty. <laughs> they saw an empty vision. A vain vision means they saw one self. Self. Vain means empty. Vain means a uh, 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 self. And guess what vain means? Worthless. That it's not just a false prophecy. It's divination. Divination is ooh, that's witchcraft. Divination is 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 um 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 soothsayers and sorceries, sorcerers. He's comparing false prophets. False prophecy to divination. That's serious business. America, prophets, church, wake up. As ye say, here you go again. Uh, this is the Lord's talking. The Lord said it, how be it, I have not spoken. Oh, my, freezing up, but I can hear you now. It's back working. Thanks. The devil don't want this. He will fight this periscope. Facebook Live is rolling, but he will fight this periscope hard right now. But he can't stop it, can he? No, he can't. Hold on. I got to repeat what God said. Whereas you say the prophet, the prophet, the one who's prophesying, the one who, who's speaking on behalf of God in the earth. He said, how be it, I have not spoken. He said, how, whereas you say the Lord said it, and I have not spoken. Why are you telling the people that I said that Donald Trump would lose and Hillary would win and I didn't tell you that? Why would you tell people I said it? God, the God of the whole universe, God of the whole earth and the fullness thereof. Ooh, but here it is. Therefore, uh-oh, there's a price to pay. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity, prophets, prophets, and seen lies. That is lie. The prophets lie. If a prophet said that Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton would be the first woman to make history in America, that she's the president, be, that she would be the president of the United States of America, they lie. God hates a liar. He already said he put the liar in the same category with a murderer. Mm -hmm. and a, a liar they lied to America they lied to the church they lied to Christians they lied to God's people they lied they, they prophesied a lie from their heart from their own lying spirit for their own gain Popularity, money, big name, whatever they did it for, it was not worth it. He said this. Verse number nine. Uh-oh. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. I'm a, when we finish, let's pray for the prophets to repent that prophesied that Hillary Clinton would win. Don't come up telling me you made a mistake. Oh, yeah, you're human. Human beings make mistakes. Don't come up talking about I'm, I made a mistake. Don't come up saying, well, you know, I just missed this one. Uh-uh, it doesn't work like that. 
He don't miss one when you're a real prophet of the Most High God hearing from God. But if you prophesy out of your own self, you are going to miss it. Don't come talking about, oh, I made a mistake. You didn't make a mistake. You lied. And, and we forgive you. We forgive you. But you got to, to confess and repent. He said, my hands shall be upon the prophet that see vanity and that divine lie. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. All in the front of the church prophesying lies. All on television, worldwide TV, in, in countries, in 200 countries lying. All on the news line. All on Twitter, Facebook. Line. All on Periscope. Facebook Live. Line. Streaming lives through the video. On YouTube Line. Says right here. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord God. They better repent. Or they will not enter into the promise. Now the last verse. In Ezekiel. From 1 to 10. Because even because. They have seduced my people. Oh God. This goes deeper and deeper. Into some serious. Falsehood. False prophets are dangerous. God is letting us know. They are dangerous. That's why people are going through emotional issues over the overhearing prophecies of Hillary Clinton being the president. Dangerous. That's why some of them didn't vote. Uh-oh. What? Some people did not go out and vote. Why vote when the prophet said God told me Hillary going to win? Why vote? If Hillary is your candidate, why vote? The prophet prophesied and prophets know the future. God showed them what was going to happen. So why should I go vote? He said Hillary would win. Because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. Hillary victory, and there was no Hillary victory. Donald Trump's loss, and there was no Donald Trump loss. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. Look at this. In verse 16 of the same chapter in Ezekiel. To wit, the prophets of Israel which prophesied concerning Jerusalem and which see visions of peace for her and there is no peace, said the Lord God. If you said you saw the election and you said that the election is going this way and it didn't go that way, Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them. Oh, oh. Back then it was tough. See, I mean, they didn't have Jesus then to come and, and, and get the grace and the mercy. <laughs> Back then it said prophesy against them. Mm. And will ye pollute me among my people? You're going to pollute the word of God among my people for a handful of barley, for a piece of bread, for popularity, for a good offering, for followers, for partners, <laughs> for a seed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? For an offering. Will you pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley, for pieces of bread? <laughs> oh, no. Why would you pollute the word of God for gain of any kind? God said you polluted him among his own people by prophesying those lies of the election of the, of the United States presidential election. Oh, God. Ooh. See, lying to my people, they hear your, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
He says that uh, you lied to my people that hear your lies. Because with lies, you have made the heart of the righteous. Here we go. Christians believe that Hillary will win. Uh Uh-oh, here we go. Church, the church. The Christians believe that Hillary would be the American president. Yeah. The savior. Do you hear me? That she would be the president. Mm Mm-mm. Doesn't work that way. You have made the heart of the righteous sad. There it is. There are some sad voters. There are some sad non-voters. There are some sad Americans. There are some sad Hispanics. There are some sad black folks. Because of false prophets. In the election. Prophesying and divining lies. God said. I made you made them sad. And you strengthened the hands of the wicked. Uh oh. By your false prophesying. You strengthened the wicked. And you hurt the righteous. You think God just going to sit back. And just let you just prophesy. Keep on prophesying. You're not going to repent. You're just going to keep on prophesying. 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 And God said yet. How be it I have not spoken. Vain visions. He said I have not made. He said He said that you made them sad. Strengthen the hands of the wicked. And that the wicked should not return from his wicked way. Because he believed you by promising him life. You promised him some stuff. It didn't come to pass. Therefore, you should see no more vanity nor divine divinations. For I will deliver my people out of your hand and you shall know that I am the Lord. He's going to deliver his people from the lying prophets. From the lying prophets. From the lying prophets. This is about the United States of America's presidential election. This is about worldwide prophets. Especially the prophets in America, because I live in America, prophesying that Donald Trump, no way would he be the president of the United States of America. That Hillary Clinton was going to be the president of the United States of America without a doubt. Because, not because I'm saying it, not because I want it, but because God said it. God told me she would be the president. God told me no way that Trump would win. God told me, and I'm telling you, not only am I telling you, but I'm telling you that God told me to tell you. Look at this in Second Peter. Second Peter. I got this from Second Peter. 118 and 21. And this voice which came from heaven, we heard. There it is. And this voice which came from heaven for a prophet to prophesy, he must hear or she must hear the voice of God from heaven. Ooh, woo. Can't be no television set. Can't be no video. Got to be a voice from God. From heaven we heard. When we were with him in the holy mount. If I'm in prayer. And I'm telling you as a prophet I was in prayer. And the prophetic anointing fell fresh on me. And under that prophetic anointing I heard God's voice speak. And from the holy mount, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, according to Second Peter, Second Peter, one eighteen, and verse twenty one. I'm gonna say it again. Prophecy did not come by the will of man. You cannot will a prophecy. You cannot will the prophetic. The prophecy came not by the will of man, but holy men and holy women of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Wow. Ooh, by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. I said. 
by the Holy Ghost. False prophets. Giving false information about the election of the president of the United States of America to be the 45th president in this country. Second Peter still. A little bit out of Second Peter 2, 1, 2, and 3. But there were false prophets also among the people. So they've always been here. And they're still here. There were false, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies and many shall follow their pernicious ways. What's pernicious? Pernicious can cause great harms, great harm or damage, often, often in a way that is not seen or noticed. So these so he's saying that those false prophets have pernicious ways. They can harm you that's not easily seen at first or, or noticed at first, but it's there. They can cause some great harm. They cause some harm to many Christians. And through covetedness shall they with feign words. Feign words mean fake. Lies. Fake. Fain words make merchandise of you. False prophets make merchandise of you. You pay money to hear lies. You give money to hear lies. You sow seeds to hear a lie. You wrote a big fat check to hear a lie from a false prophet. Not all prophets are false. I'm only talking about the false ones tonight. So don't come in mixing in the, the real prophet with the false. I'm not talking about the real ones tonight. This is strictly about the false one who, who lied about the election. Ooh, God gave me this. Hold on now. Uh-uh. No. Man, this is real. In, uh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. In Zechariah. This is the word of God. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. In Zechariah. The 13th chapter, I had you in the 13th chapter of Ezekiel, but in the 13th chapter of Zechariah, in verse, starting with verse number two. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land. They shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. So he's saying that the prophet are connected with an unclean spirit. If you lie on God, I can't come to you and say God said it. Look at me, I'm going to come to you and say, you know what? God told me to tell you this. Donald Trump is a loser in the election. God told me to tell you, Nana, don't worry about it. Don't fret. Pass the word. Pass the word that I said that I heard from God. And y'all know I'm a prophet. I've been prophesying to y'all for years. You've been meeting me in different churches all over America following me. You see me on TV. You follow me. You periscope me. You Facebook live me. You've come to Texas. You've gone to California. You've gone to Mississippi. You've gone to New York. You come to D.C. You come to America. You went to Wyoming. You went to Nebraska. You followed me. Atlanta. But the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, then, oh, oh God. Back in the day, let me show you how, how bad it was to prophesy falsely. You're not going to believe this, but you better believe it because it comes from God. If you were a prophet and you had parents, uh-oh. Some of these prophets had parents. Some of these prophets got half parents. Some of these prophets, young and old prophets, did it. Yeah, young and old. Up and coming and uh, um, experienced prophets, settled in prophets, prophets with a big name, prophets with no name. Some of them have parents. But in Zechariah 13, 3, it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, then his father and his mother that be 
got him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ, their own parents condemned them. Their own parents said you shall not live. That's not before Jesus got here. You better be glad Jesus died on that cross and rose up on that third day false prophet. You better be glad that there's grace and mercy. And we serve a forgiving father through his son Jesus. Because back then, the parent, the mama that had the prophet said, you lied in the name of the Lord and you shall not live. And his father and his mother that begot him shall thrust him through when he prophesied. That means put a knife in him, put a sword in him, kill him. They had to kill their own child that prophesied, said the Lord said it. And, then, and the Lord didn't say it. Thanks, woo, thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy. That ain't going to happen to us today. I am no prophet. Uh-oh. I am an husband, man. I'm something else. For, for man taught me to keep cattle from on you. I'm something else. I'm a preacher, but I'm not a prophet. I'm an evangelist, but I'm not a prophet. They should have just said that. I'm a Christian, but I'm not a prophet. I'm a pastor, but I'm not a prophet. I'm a missionary. I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher, whatever, but I'm not a prophet. Jesus. I'm a Sunday school teacher. I'm not a prophet. So let's look back on some of this. Prophesy. Prophecy is to give. Um, I told you that a prophecy foretelling a prediction declaration of prophecy. Woo. Come divine. Divine. Supernatural instruction. Divine. Uh, do you hear me? Hold on. And what is a prophet? He was a seer before. He was a seer. Mm. Prophesy. Isaiah 30, 9 and 10. That this is a rebellious people. America, we are a rebel. No. I'm going to speak for America. America is rebellious right now. We are in disobedience and total rebellion against the word of God, against the knowledge of God we are. This is a rebellious people. False prophets can really prophesy to rebellious people. America is rebellious. We're passing laws that go against the laws of God. We're calling good evil and evil good. We got spiritual wickedness in high places, doing stuff they have no business doing. They took prayer out of school. They don't want to say the name Jesus anywhere in America. This is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. We say to the seers, see not. Don't tell me, seer, that Donald Trump is going to win. Don't tell me that Hillary, Hillary Clinton was going to lose. Say to the seers, a rebellious people, a lying people, told the seers, don't see that. Don't prophesy that. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us the truth now from God. Speak unto us smooth things. Things we can deal with. Things that we want to hear. Things that make us laugh. Joy. Things that make us happy with you. Things that make us want to say, man, you are a real prophet. Sister, you are a real prophetess. Speak unto us smooth things. So what was smooth to America was Hillary Clinton will be the next president of the United States of America. Donald Trump is out. He made it this far, but he can't go any farther, said the Lord. Set the Lord. Set it when. Prophesy this. 30 chapter, verse 19. Prophet. Here we go. We're back. Come on in here. Oh, that devil's a liar. Hey, y'all. Ooh, that thing was fighting. Part two. Uh-uh. That thing don't want this out. That devil fighting this. 
who is the prince of the power of the air? Satan is. I can't bring nothing this big, this huge, this humongous without him warning to try to shut it down, but he can't shut it down. We are back in Jesus name. Prophet, oh, prophet pew. Prophets don't sell, don't self label themselves prophets. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. Now come on on here, y'all. Everybody come on. But a lot of them tell you quick, I'm a prophet. Fine. I love prophets. Come on. Some of them show up. I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. Well, if you're a prophet, then God's talking to you. Then I want to hear what the Lord, what thus said the Lord. Okay, here we go. Come on now. We back on now. Facebook Live. Thanks for uh, holding on while we got Periscope together. Because that devil attacked Periscope big time. Trying to shut this thing. Shoot him, South Carolina. You better be glad you're on here. Call every prophet, prophet. Call everybody. You devil's already fighting it. That's right. Say what God said, not what they wanted. Thank you. Oh, oh, now, this is, this is about, because I had to come back on again because the devil froze Periscope up. Try to shut me down, but he can't do it. Prophets who said that Donald Trump would lose and that Hillary Clinton would win the election as the president of the United States of America. The prophets prophesied that God said it. God told them. Without a doubt, God told me, that's it. Done deal. Don't fret. God did it. Lots of president. <laughs> I love it. Hallelujah. That's oops, not a prophet. Thanks. Now, oops, not a prophet. Now, get this. If you're a real prophet, then the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What you prophesy, it shall be exactly the way you said it because God said it. They're all knowing. Mm, omniscient God said it. Now, I'm going to tell you again. David had a prophet named Gad. He was a seer. He was a seer. David seer. Ooh. Now look now. Look what 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 the what God said to Gad. And Gad had to go and tell him exactly what God said. He said, go and say unto David, thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Go and tell David. You taking your life in your own hands when you go into a king. Back then, you go to the king as a seer, as a prophet. First of all, that David and any king's gonna believe you. They're not gonna doubt it. They didn't doubt the prophets back in the day. When a prophet spoke, they Donald Trump is the plan of God. Hallelujah. Talk to me. Tell the world. Now, get this now. Uh oh, we can make some stuff, y'all. Now, now. I'll tell you what a prophecy is. We're on part two, a foretelling prediction, declaration of something to come, as only God knows. God knows with certainty. Okay, here we go now. I'm ready. Here we go. And the devil can't stop it. The devil can't shut it down. Now, are y'all ready for this? You better, you better, even after this is over, you call the prophets that you know, you call the preachers that you know, and you tell them to replay this because this is real. I'm going to first, I'm going to uh, Ezekiel. I'm going to Ezekiel. God showed me this. I'm going to the book of Ezekiel. And when I go here, it's going to blow your mind. Do you hear me? It's going to blow your mind. Ezekiel is going to blow your mind. I'm going to the 12th chapter of Ezekiel. And it, starting there, it's going to blow your mind. The Isaiah never self-label. Remember, we're in a new day and a new time. And you know how it is with modern things. Little things change here, little change there. But one thing that don't change, and that's God and his word. Woo. Hallelujah to that. Now, Ezekiel. Now, now I'm going to show you how, how important it is. To be a prophet that hears from God and know that you hear from God. Let me show you how humongous it is to our father in heaven that his prophets take what he declared and what he showed them and what he gave them. And that what, what comes from him is what they prophesy. Ezekiel 
Let's start with 1224. For there shall be no more any vain vision. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to get to that too. <laughs> For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord. I will speak. Prophets. For I am the Lord. I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Oh, stop right there. See a lot of that. Come on, y'all see a lot of that. Take that in. For I am the Lord. I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It's right there. Yeah, prophetess Pew is right there. He said it shall come to pass. He, he didn't say that, that, that. It shall come to pass and one day it might not come to pass and some of it might not come to pass and, and, and the little ones and the big ones. But no, he said it shall. I shall speak and it shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it. If he said the word that Hillary Clinton should be the president of the United States of America, then she's supposed to be president. You heard me. You heard me. They don't fear God anymore, so they lie. Ooh. I'm going to give them this. And it's going to make some changes in the prophetic. It's going to make some real changes. The whole United States of America. Put this on CNN News. Put this on Fox. Let me tell you something right now. If God said that Hillary would win, she should have won. Mm. Oh, I'm going to tell you who's prophesying through them. Mm. Uh, old rebellious house, when I say the word, <laughs> and will perform it, said the Lord God. Therefore, verse 28, I'm, I'm in uh, uh, Ezekiel 12, 28. Therefore, I say unto them, thus said the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord God. Then if I'm a prophet, I'm prophet from God. The whole church, I'm telling you, you know that I'm prophet so and so. And I said it, I said it. Three, four months ago, before now, I said Hillary Clinton was the brand new president of the United States of America and Trump better go back to the Trump Towers as a loser. But God said, if I spoke it to that prophet, then it shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. But it wasn't done. Not as they prophesied, the ones that prophesied that Hillary would win and Trump would lose. But hold on. Now we're going to get to some serious meat now. Oh, man. Whoa, we're going to get to some meat now. Verse chapter 13 of Ezekiel. Here we go. Get this. Starting with the first verse. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. What? Out of their own hearts. What is that telling you? I'm telling you what it's telling me. That the prophets wanted to prophesy what was in their own heart, self. They were telling people what they wanted to hear. They felt that no one wanted to hear. <laughs> no one wanted to hear. I love it. That Trump would win. Especially if you were a black man or woman of God, prophet or prophetess. You and Hispanic. You definitely. Hallelujah, Sister, mm, Sister Thelma. Pastor Thelma. Oh, Sister Thelma in South Carolina. She was saying, Pastor, calling me Pastor. God bless you. Now, hold on. If they're probably sound out their own heart. Then they wanted to tell black America what they wanted to hear. They felt that blacks didn't want to hear that Trump 
They felt that Trump was a racist. So let me just step in and get a big name. I already have a, some of them already had a big name, but here's some looking to get a big name. And let me just prophesy these things. So everybody know that, that I had, and I was right about who is the president months ahead of time. Prophesy in their heart. Churches were glad to hear these prophets, especially blacks, especially black churches. Especially blacks all over. We talking about rich blacks, poor blacks. We talking about educated blacks. We talking about athletes. We talking about coaches. We talking about college professors, lawyers, doctors, whoever. They love that prophecy that Hillary would win because if they were voting for Hillary, if they were against Trump, and a prophet come on and said, God said it, Christians started believing it. They took it. But hold on now. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God. Ezekiel 13.3 Woe unto the foolish prophets. Mm. Mm. I didn't say it. I didn't call them foolish. Don't say Pastor Angelo called them foolish because I didn't. God said woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit Spirit and have seen nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Whoa. They say they saw, some say they saw a vision of the president. They saw Hillary in the White House sitting in the Oval Office. They saw her taking the oath in January. Seen nothing. Ooh. Yeah, they lied on God. Ooh, woo. Somebody gonna have to repent. He is a forgiving God, but there's a whole lot of prophets gotta repent. Not for being wrong. They don't have to repent for being wrong. They gotta repent for saying saying that they were prophesying on behalf of God. That God said it. Oh Israel. Thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Oh my God. He's not talking about all prophets. He's not talking about the real prophets now. He's not talking about the true prophets now. He's talking about the one who, who prophesied from their own heart. He said out of their own spirit, not from the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit will come on behalf of God and speak. And speak into your spirit and tell you what the Father said this. God said this. God said, go tell it. Tell it at this time. Tell it at that time. This is what's coming and when it's coming. How it's coming. Who is coming by. Everything God gets correct. I'm not finished. I'm still in 13th chapter of Ezekiel. This is in the desert. That's not good. You have not gone up into the gaps. What? Neither made up the heads for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, the Lord saith, the Lord saith, I'm a prophet, and the Lord saith, I'm a prophetess, and the Lord heard from God, and the Lord saith, I will sleep in my bed, and through a dream, through a night vision, the Lord saith, and the Lord had not sent them made others to hope there it is that they will confirm the word it's election they gave out false hope there are others with hope this is why they're rioting in the streets a lot of them they're so you to be prophets <laughs> I'll tell you why one I'm not going to tell you in this but God already gave me revelation that Years ago, why people are eager to be prophets without getting the anointing to be a prophet. That's easy. I don't tell my church the answer. I have the answer to that. But I give it to you. But I'm not moved to give it to you tonight. I'm dealing with this thing with Hillary and Trump. The prophets that prophesied the election and said, God said it. Sometimes, it's, no, it's money, but there's something else being that can't that comes before the money. 
money is in there, but that's not the first reason. God gave me the number one reason. Now, get this now. Gave people false hope. <clears throat> All these people are upset, depressed, angry, mad. Some are getting violent. Some can't sleep. Some are in anxiety. Anxiety means that there's a fear of the future. The fear of something that has not happened yet. Depression is happening now. Jesus Christ. Mm. Prophets gave him false hope. Told them that Hillary would be the president. They believed it. Look 7 in Ezekiel 13. Have ye not seen a vain vision? What's a vain vision? What does that mean? Vain means empty. <laughs> they saw an empty vision. A vain vision means they saw one self. Self. Vain means empty. Vain means a uh, 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 self. And guess what vain means? Worthless. That it's not just a false prophecy. It's divination. Divination is, ooh, that's witchcraft. Divination is, is, is um, 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 soup sales and sorceries, sorcerers. He's comparing false prophets, false prophecy to divination. That's serious business. America, prophets, church, wake up. As ye say, here you go again. Uh, this is the Lord's talking. The Lord said it, how be it, I have not spoken. Oh, my, freezing up, but I can hear you now. It's back working. Thanks. The devil don't want this. He will fight this periscope. Facebook Live is rolling, but he will fight this periscope hard right now. But he can't stop it, can he? No, he can't. Hold on. I got to repeat what God said. Whereas you said the prophet, the prophet, the one who's prophesying, the one who, who's speaking on behalf of God in the earth. He said, how be it, I have not spoken. He said, how, whereas you say the Lord said it, and I have not spoken. Why are you telling the people that I said that Donald Trump would lose and Hillary would win, and I didn't tell you that? Why would you tell people I said it? God, the God of the whole universe, God of the whole earth and the fullness thereof. Oh, but here it is. Therefore, uh-oh, there's a price to pay. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity, prophets, prophets, and seen lies. That is lie. The prophets lie. If a prophet said that Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton would be the first woman to make history in America, that she's the president, be, that she would be the president of the United States of America, they lie. God hates a liar. He already said he put the liar in the same category with a murderer. Mm -hmm. And a, a liar. They lied to America. They lied to the church. They lied to Christians. They lied to God's people. They lied. They, they prophesied a lie from their heart, from their own lying spirit, for their own gain, popularity, money, big name, whatever they did it for, it was not worth it. He said this, verse number nine, uh-oh, and mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. I'm a, when we finish, let's pray for the prophets to repent that prophesied that Hillary Clinton would win. Don't come up telling me you made a mistake. I don't, yeah, you're human. Human beings make mistakes. Don't come up talking about, I'm, I made a mistake. Don't come up saying, well, you know, I just missed this one. Uh-uh, it doesn't work like that. You don't miss one when you're a real prophet of the Most High God hearing from God. But if you prophesy out of your own self, you are going to miss it. Don't come talking about, oh, I made a mistake. 
You didn't make a mistake. You lied. And, and we forgive you. We forgive you. But you got to, to confess and repent. He said, my hands shall be upon the prophet to see vanity and that divine lie. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. All in front of the church prophesying lies. All on television, worldwide TV, in, in countries, in 200 countries lying. All on the news line. All on Twitter, Facebook line. All on Periscope, Facebook Live line. Streaming lies through the video on YouTube line. Says right here, they shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel and you shall know that I am the Lord God. They better repent or they will not enter into the promise. Now the last verse in Ezekiel from 1 to 10 because even because they have seduced my people. Oh God, this goes deeper and deeper into some serious falsehood. False prophets are dangerous. God is letting us know they are dangerous. That's why people are going through emotional issues over the overhearing prophecies of Hillary Clinton being the president. Dangerous. That's why some of them didn't vote. Uh-oh. What? Some people did not go out and vote. Why vote when the prophet said God told me Hillary going to win? Why vote? If Hillary is your candidate, why vote? The prophet prophesied and prophets know the future. God showed them what was going to happen. So why should I go vote? He said Hillary would win. Because they have seduced my people saying peace and there was no peace. Hillary victory and there was no Hillary victory. Donald Trump's loss. And there was no Donald Trump loss. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Hold on. Look at this. In verse 16 of the same chapter in Ezekiel. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, and we see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, said the Lord God. If you said you saw the election and you said that the election is going this way and it didn't go that way. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them. Oh, oh. back then it was tough. See, they didn't have Jesus then to come and, and, and get the grace and the mercy. <laughs> back then it said prophesy against them. Mm. And will ye pollute me among my people? You're going to pollute the word of God among my people for a handful of barley, for a piece of bread, for popularity, for a good offering, for followers, for partners, <laughs> for a seed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? For an offering. Will you pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley, for pieces of bread? <laughs> oh no, why would you pollute the word of God for gain of any kind? God said you polluted him among his own people by prophesying those lies of the election of the, of the United States presidential election. Oh, God. Ooh. See, lying to my people, they hear your, hold on, hold on, hold on. He says that uh, you lied to my people that hear your lies. Because with lies, you have made the heart of the righteous. Here we go. 
Christians believe that Hillary will win. Uh oh, here we go. Church, the church. The Christians believe that Hillary would be the American president. Yeah. The savior. Do you hear me? That she would be the president. Mm -mm. Doesn't work that way. You have made the heart of the righteous sad. There it is. There are some sad voters. There's some sad non-voters. <clears throat> There's some sad Americans. There's some sad Hispanics. There are some sad black folks because of false prophets in the election. Prophesying and divining lies, God said. I made you made them sad. And you strengthened the hands of the wicked. Uh oh. By your false prophesy, you strengthen the wicked and you hurt the righteous. You think God's just going to sit back and just let you just prophesy, keep on prophesying? You're not going to repent. You're just going to keep on prophesying, prophesying, prophesying. And God said, Yet, how be it, I have not spoken. Vain visions. He said, I have not made. He said, he said that you made them sad, strengthened the hands of the wicked, and that the wicked should not return from his wicked way because he believed you by promising him life. You promised him some stuff. It didn't come to pass. Therefore, you should see no more vanity nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. He's going to deliver his people from the lying prophets, from the lying prophets, from the lying prophets. This is about... The United States of America's presidential election. This is about worldwide prophets, especially the prophets in America, because I live in America, prophesying that Donald Trump, no way would he be the president of the United States of America, that Hillary Clinton was going to be the president of the United States of America without a doubt. Because, not because I'm saying it, not because I want it, but because God said it. God told me that she would be the president. God told me no way that Trump would win. God told me. And I'm telling you. And not only am I telling you, but I'm telling you that God told me to tell you. Look at this in 2 Peter. 2 Peter. I got this from 2 Peter. 1.18 and 21. And this voice which came from heaven, we heard. There it is. And this voice which came from heaven for a prophet to prophesy. He must hear or she must hear the voice of God from heaven. Ooh, woo. Can't be no television set. Can't be no video. Got to be a voice from God. From heaven we heard. When we were with him in the holy mount. If I'm in prayer. And I'm telling you as a prophet, I was in prayer and the prophetic anointing fell fresh on me. And under that prophetic anointing, I heard God's voice speak and from the holy mount. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. According to 2 Peter, 2 Peter 1 18 and verse 21. I'm going to say it again. Prophecy did not come by the will of man. You cannot will a prophecy. You cannot will the prophetic. The prophecy came not by the will of man, but holy men and holy women of God spake. As they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Wow. Ooh, by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. I said, by the Holy Ghost. False prophets. Giving false information about the election of the president. 
of the United States of America to be the 45th president in this country. Second Peter still. A little bit out of Second Peter 2, 1, 2, and 3. But there were false prophets also among the people. So they've always been here. And they're still here. There were false, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies and many shall follow their pernicious ways. What's pernicious? Pernicious can cause great harms, great harm or damage, often, often in a way that is not seen or noticed. So these so he's saying that those false prophets have pernicious ways. They can harm you that's not easily seen at first or, or noticed at first, but it's there. They can cause some great harm. They cause some harm to many Christians. And through covetedness shall they with feign words. Feign words mean fake. Lies. Fake. Fain words make merchandise of you. False prophets make merchandise of you. You pay money to hear lies. You give money to hear lies. You sow seeds to hear a lie. You wrote a big fat check to hear a lie from a false prophet. Not all prophets are false. I'm only talking about the false ones tonight. So don't come in mixing in the, the real prophet with the false. I'm not talking about the real ones tonight. This is strictly about the false one who, who lied about the election. Ooh, God gave me this. Hold on now. Uh-uh. No. Man, this is real. In, uh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. In Zechariah. This is the word of God. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. In Zechariah. The 13th chapter, I had you in the 13th chapter of Ezekiel, but in the 13th chapter of Zechariah, in verse, starting with verse number two. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land. They shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. So he's saying that the prophet are connected with an unclean spirit. If you lie on God, I can't come to you and say God said it. Look at me, I'm going to come to you and say, you know what? God told me to tell you this. Donald Trump is a loser in the election. God told me to tell you, Nana, don't worry about it. Don't fret. Pass the word. Pass the word that I said that I heard from God. And y'all know I'm a prophet. I've been prophesying to y'all for years. You've been meeting me in different churches all over America following me. You see me on TV. You follow me. You periscope me. You Facebook live me. You've come to Texas. You've gone to California. You've gone to Mississippi. You've gone to New York. You come to D.C. You come to Maryland. You went to Wyoming. You went to Nebraska. You followed me. Atlanta. But the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, then, oh, oh God. Back in the day, let me show you how, how bad it was to prophesy falsely. You're not going to believe this, but you better believe it because it comes from God. If you were a prophet and you had parents, uh-oh. Some of these prophets had parents. Some of these prophets got have parents. Some of these prophets, young and old prophets, did it. Yeah, young and old. Up and coming and uh, um, experienced prophets. Settled in prophets. Prophets with a big name. Prophets with no name. Some of them have parents. But in Zechariah 13, 3, it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, then his father and his mother that begat him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ, their own parents condemned him. 
your own parents say you shall not live. That's not before Jesus got here. You better be glad Jesus died on that cross and rose up on that third day false prophet. You better be glad that there's grace and mercy. And we serve a forgiven father through his son Jesus. Because back then, the parent, the mama that had the prophet said, you lied in the name of the Lord and you shall not live. And his father and his mother that begot him shall thrust him through when he prophesied. That means put a knife in him, put a sword in him, kill him. They had to kill their own child. The prophesied, said the Lord said it. And then, and the Lord didn't say it. Thanks. Ooh, thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy. That ain't going to happen to us today. I am no prophet. Uh-oh. I am an husband, man. I'm something else. For, for man taught me to keep cattle from on you. I'm something else. I'm a preacher, but I'm not a prophet. I'm an evangelist, but I'm not a prophet. I should have just said that. I'm a Christian, but I'm not a prophet. I'm a pastor, but I'm not a prophet. I'm a missionary. I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher, whatever. But I'm not a prophet. Jesus. I'm a Sunday school teacher. But I'm not a prophet. So, let's... Look back on some of this. Prophesy. Prophecy is to give. Uh, I told you that a prophecy. Foretelling a prediction declaration of prophecy. Woo. Come divine. Divine. Supernatural instruction. Divine. Uh, do you hear me? Hold on. And what is a prophet? He was a seer before. He was a seer. Mm. Prophesy Isaiah 30 9 and 10 That this is a rebellious people America we are a rebe No I'm going to speak for America America is rebellious right now We are in disobedience And total rebellion Against the word of God Against the knowledge of God we are This is a rebellious people False prophets can really prophesy to rebellious people. America is rebellious. We're passing laws that go against the laws of God. We're calling good evil and evil good. We got spiritual wickedness in high places doing stuff they have no business doing. They took prayer out of school. They don't want to say the name Jesus anywhere in America. This is a rebellious people. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not. Don't tell me, seer, that Donald Trump is going to win. Don't tell me that Hillary, Hillary Clinton was going to lose. Say to the seers, a rebellious people, a lying people, told the seers, don't see that. Don't prophesy that. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us the truth now from God. Speak unto us smooth things. Things we can deal with. Things that we want to hear. Things that make us laugh. Joy. Things that make us happy with you. Things that make us want to let's say, man, you are a real prophet. Sister, you are a real prophetess. Speak unto us smooth things. So what was smooth to America was Hillary Clinton will be the next president of the United States of America. Donald Trump is out. He made it this far, but he can't go any farther. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. Said it when. Prophesied this 30 chapter, verse 9 and 10. Prophet. He only spoke what God told him to speak. He only did what God told him to do. End time prophet tell a man, I tell you, walk through the street butt naked. And you did it. And you man, Jeremiah something else. But hold on now. This is the last prophet I'm going to take you to. Look at that. I'm going to just take you. Oh, hold on. But I will tell you this. In order to prophesy. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's say I'm a prophet. 
Here I am. I'm ready to prophesy. I don't care where I am. I don't care if I'm standing in front of the White House. I don't care if I'm standing in front of the Capitol, the U.S. Capitol. I don't care if I'm standing in front of a mega church or a storefront church. I don't care if I'm standing in front of the liquor store and the drug corner and I'm getting ready to prophesy. Hold on. Hold on. But before I prophesy, 1 Samuel 10, 6 told me what happens. This is what happens. He said, and the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. And all, and all for me to prophesy, what's got to happen first? Well, 1 Samuel 10, 6 said, and the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. And thou shalt prophesy with them and shalt be turned into another man. So it's not me. It's not the man in me. I'm going to be turned into another man, a spiritual man. In order to prophesy, the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy. Ooh, Nehemiah 6, 12 said, if that didn't happen, if that did not happen, and they prophesied out of their own heart, out of their own uh, uh, flesh. Nehemiah 6, 12 said God had not sent him. Ooh. God did not send that prophet to tell you that, that, that uh, Trump lost and Hillary won. God didn't send him. Now, I'm going to finish mm, with Jeremiah. Okay? I'm going to finish. Money. I'm going to finish with Jeremiah. This is so good. When I saw this, I said, I got to share this. I'm going to just finish with this. And we're going to pray for the prophets before I get off of here. Okay. Saturday night. I'm gonna come out the club. Put the drink down. And here's what thus said the Lord. Chapter 11 of Jeremiah. Okay. Here we go. Jeremiah. Jeremiah's a prophet. Ooh, hold on. Jeremiah. I'm going to finish with Jeremiah. Hold on. This. Hold on. Here's Jeremiah. Who is Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah is the prophecy of a man divinely called in his youth. Jesus Christ. This is the last prophet I'm going to deal with tonight. Jeremiah. Unless God but me come back again later this week with the rest of it. The book of Jeremiah is the prophecy of a man divinely Called as a prophet in his youth from the priesthood. Mm. A heartbroken prophet with a heartbreaking message. Labored for more than 40 years listening to God. Ooh. He surrendered to God's will. Good God Almighty. Jesus Christ. God's will. The Holy Ghost. Prophetic anointing. Here we go, Jeremiah. 11th chapter, verse 21. Therefore, thus said the Lord of the men of Anathoth that seek thy life, saying, prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not by our hand. Those evil people didn't want him to prophesy. They knew he was a real prophet. Mm -mm. Oh, we're going to do it. When I finish with Jeremiah, thank you. I don't go anywhere because I need all the prayer wars. We're going to pray for the prophets. You think I'm going to get off Periscope and Facebook Live and not pray for them? No way. They need it. They got to have it. Hold on. I'm in Jer I'm with Jeremiah now. I'm going to finish with Jeremiah. Jeremiah 5. 31. The prophets prophesied falsely. Now this came from a prophet. A real prophet said this. Pastor Angelo O. Jones of Heaven's Best Healing and Deliverance Church in Clinton, Maryland didn't say this. This is a prophet 40, labored for more than 40 years under the anointing of a prophet. The prophets prophesied falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. By, by their means. And my people love to have it so. America, you wanted to hear that lie. You wanted to hear that Hillary would win. 
That's all you wanted to hear from the prophet. You didn't want to hear nothing else. And what will you do in the end thereof? What will you do in the end? Good question, America. Now what will you do? Mm. I'm still with Jeremiah. 14th chapter. I'm still with Jeremiah now. I'm going to finish with Jeremiah, a true prophet of God. Man who followed Jeremiah 14. 14 chapter, verse 14 and 15. Then the Lord said unto me, uh oh, look at that. Then the Lord said unto me, No, you didn't say unto you, prophet. Satan didn't say unto you, prophet. Self didn't say unto you, prophet, for you to get it right. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. Good God Almighty. Oh, help us, Lord. I done knocked the Facebook live down. Oh, come on here. I done knocked it down. I got so excited. Uh-uh, keep going. Look at that. I knocked Facebook live off, didn't I? I got to keep going, though. Keep going. Uh-uh. Keep going. Keep going. Anyway, get this. Get this periscope. It says right here. 531. It's, I'm sorry. 14.14, it said, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesied unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Y'all, I'm going to cut Facebook Live back on because, uh, uh, I don't want them to be left out of this. Hold on a second. I don't want them to be left out of this. You hear me? I do not want them to be left out of this. It's too good. Uh, this is too good. Yes, it is. This is too good. So, so let me put it on there now. Prophets. Hold on, y'all. Prophets. Hold on, Facebook Live, because we got to pray. But I'm not going on here and I knock you out. Periscope. Again. I'm going to finish with Jeremiah. Uh, you didn't hear this uh, Facebook live, but Jeremiah 14, 14 and 15 says, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies. God has to tell a prophet. He has to speak to you, prophet. You cannot speak to yourself. Only God. I sent them not. He said, They prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. I didn't send you on Periscope to tell that lie. I didn't send you on Facebook live to tell that lie. I didn't send you to America to tell that lie that you told. Everybody was listening because everybody was tuned in to Trump and Hillary. Trump and Hillary. Hillary and Trump. Every day, all day, night and day. Trump and Hillary. Hillary and Trump. So guess what? Here come the prophets. Politics. I want some of this. Let me show them who I am. They prophesied lies and I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name and I sent them not. Yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. Trump shall not be president. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Well, they got Jesus now, so they won't be consumed. But we're going to pray for them to be delivered from being a false prophet, a lying demon native, as, as Jesus, as God called them. I'm still in Jeremiah. I'm still in Jeremiah. I'm going to finish with Jeremiah, the prophet. Just go to 23 and finish with Jeremiah. Go to 23. Chapter 23. Starting with verse 16. Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets. Don't be so quick. Don't be so quick to listen to a prophet that you don't even know. Just because he walked to you, some a prophet in empty. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Not out of the mouth of the Lord. Out of the mouth of the Lord come the truth. If I say that I'm a prophet, and I tell you that Donald Trump was going to win. God told me to tell you. 
If I told you that Hillary was going to lose, God told me to tell you. If I told you that the opposite, I'm still with Jeremiah. I'm still in, I'm going to stay in chapter 23. That was verse 16. Go to verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophet said lies in my name. Uh-oh. God said, I heard him when they said that uh, Trump would lose and Hillary would win. I heard him when they said that I said it. When they said I, I gave him a vision. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophet said lies in my name. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Oh, this is in the Bible. Ain't none of this coming from me. I have dreamed. I dreamed that Hillary won. God came into my dream. Jesus walked into my dream and said, Hillary will be the president. I dreamed that I, that I was at the White House in the spirit. And I was standing there and I was standing next to Hillary. And Hillary was the president and I was just there and I laid my hands on Hillary in the spirit room and blessed her as the new president. I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? <laughs> Until the election? <laughs> How long shall this be in the heart? Until the election? Then I tell you that some of them prophesied for months. <laughs> and months and months. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. But I dreamed it. <laughs> I dreamed that Donald Trump lost the presidency. And everybody was against him. And he lost for by a large margin. The worst loss in the history of the United States presidential election. Uh oh, I'm here. Lord, will one go for us? Here am I, send me. Is there one? Is there one that will go to my prophets? Is there one that will be bold enough to tell the prophets they lied? Is there one that will call them out? Is there one to tell them they didn't miss, that they didn't make a mistake? Is there one that will tell them uh, uh, I get the next one? No! There is no mistake as a prophet. When you prophesy and you said God said it, it cannot be changed. It cannot be altered. It cannot be blocked. It cannot be countered. It cannot fail. But it must be fulfilled. It must come to pass. It came by divine, divine power of God, from the mind of God, from the mouth of God to you. Says our false dream, said the Lord, and do tell them. So I'm here to tell you four days after the election, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days after the election. I'm here to tell you what you did. And cause my people to err. You called the people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, said the Lord. So the false prophets, what they prophesied about the election, it's going to turn out to be all right. <clears throat> God's going to fix it for you. God don't care who's the president. God, gonna, he's still in control seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The government is on the shoulder of his son, Jesus. God, he said his name shall be called Emmanuel, and the government is upon his shoulder. Emmanuel, God among us, God with us. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. This is the word of God. This is the truth. This is the word of God. Cannot be denied. The government is upon his shoulder. So Trump, as the president of the United States of America, is upon God's shoulder. The Senate, the Congress, is upon God's shoulder. Jesus' shoulder. Whether they want to admit it or not. Or whether they know it or not. But hold on now. I'm almost finished. I'm finishing up in Jeremiah. That was the 32nd verse in Jeremiah 23. But in, in chapter 27 of Jeremiah, I only got this and one more. On the 27th chapter of Jeremiah, verse 14, he says, Therefore, hearken not unto the words of the prophets. Stop listening to, to people you don't know. 
why don't you wait and see if something they said was fulfilled a few times? <laughs> okay. Can you do that for God? Can you do that for yourself? Can you do that for your church? Can you do that? Therefore, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that are speaking to you, saying, You shall not serve the king of Babylon. Uh oh. That you shall not serve the president of the United States of America. For they prophesy a lie unto you. Oh, yeah, it is real good, isn't it? Thank you. Ezekiel is very good. Hold on. You shall not serve uh, the president of the United States of America. He said, Don't listen to that. He's the president. Didn't God tell you that when you obey authority, you're doing unto him? You better wake up. You better read your word. You better read the Bible. He said, what you do unto authority, Michael 3, what you do unto authority, you're doing it unto me. He said, obey those who are in authority over you. Follow the rules. Follow the laws now. If he's president, he's president. If, if Kermit the Frog was the president, elected president of uh, four days ago, he's the president. Follow Kermit. He be on Kermit the Frog would be on uh, God's shoulder. Government is on his shoulder. Now hold up now. He said, You shall not serve the king of Babylon. He said, That's a lie. For they prophesy lying to you. You have to serve. If you're an American, you're in the United States of America, you want to live here. He's your president. Black, white, yellow, brown, polka dot. Stripe. He's your president. Get yourself together. But keep your eyes on the Lord. Look to the hills. Not to the White House. Look to the hills from which coming your help. Your help coming from the Lord. Hold on now. I got one more scripture. And then I'm done with Jeremiah. 29th chapter. Hold on. Did I finish with the 20th? Seven, I did 27, 14. Oh, no, I didn't finish. I did 14, but I didn't do 15. For I have not sent them, said the Lord, yet they prophesy a lie in my name that I might drive you out and that ye might perish. I'm going to drive Donald Trump out. <laughs> and the prophets that prophesy unto you, ooh, 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 ooh. hearken not to the words of your prophets that prophesy unto you. My God, my God. Now, the last one, Jeremiah 29, chapter, verse 9. Here's the last one, folks. Then we're going to pray for them. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, said the Lord. Isn't that a good way to end it? I'm ending it with Jeremiah 29, 9. What's a false prophet? I mean to worship in my house. I, I know the Bible says, says you can't do that. You better call me. Right, man, you better call me because you better email Pastor Angelo O. Jones at, at uh, gmail.com or call me up and, and I'm going to help you out with that one. But no, no, no. There are a lot of people trying to say that church is in them so they're going to stay home. That's not what God commanded for the Sabbath day to keep you holy. He said, do not. Do not. Ooh, neglect. The fellowship of the saints. Do not stay out of church. There's more. But I'll just give you that for now. He ended it by saying, For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, said the Lord. So in other words, <clears throat> the ones that the prophet that said that Trump would uh lose and Hillary would win, who said it in God's name, prophesied a lie, and God did not send them, and they were not sent from God. So let's do this. Let's pray for them. And if I come back later this week, I got a feeling I'm going to hear a lot about this. I want to. Because the word is out. I need to get out. Now, are y'all with me? Are y'all with me as we get ready to pray for all of the false prophets and prophetess and for all of the prophets who are lying all the prophets who are claiming that God said it and he's, dead, he's not even talking to them. That the Holy Ghost didn't even speak to them. That the Holy Ghost didn't come unto them and speak what thus said the Lord. And they're doing this all over the place. They're everywhere. And because they're known as prophet, everybody's cheesing. 
<laughs> Is there a word from the Lord for me? Prophet, prophet, you're the one that prophesied on TV. <laughs> you prophesy enough of you. You like to get one or two right, but that's not the way it works. The president of the United States of America is Donald Trump. The one who lost the election is Hillary Clinton. Now we're going to pray for those prophets. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you all of the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every prophet, the Bible says you heard them. You heard every one of them. Thank God for Jesus, who you sit to die on the cross for us. Amen. And they shall be. So I pray right now that they repent. Ask God for forgiveness and repent of their evil deeds. And I rebuke the spirit of lying and divination in prophets. I rebuke the spirit in Jesus' name. I bind up the spirit of false prophecy. I bind it in Jesus' name. Hold thy peace on you in America in Jesus' name. And I loose the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon you to convict you to repent and ask for forgiveness. Turn from your evil ways of lying, saying, Dust said the Lord when you didn't hear from him. Saying, I dreamed, I dreamed when you didn't have the dream. Saying, I saw a vision when you didn't have the vision. In the name of Jesus, I curse that curse with a curse from God. And I declare that you repent and receive the forgiveness of God and never to do it again. And we declare you bless prophets and prophetess in the earth. And that what you speak is what thus said the Lord. Woo! In Jesus' name. Wow! Wow! Well, it's done for tonight. Facebook uh, live. Periscope is done for tonight. I love y'all. And in Jesus' name, I pray you learned a lot from uh, this word tonight. Amen. We pray for them. Get in church tomorrow morning. Oh, by the way, tomorrow morning at Heaven's Best, <laughs> I'm going back to the series, The Healing of the Mind. So I'm be dealing with depression, emotional issues, bipolar. Suicide, Alzheimer's, anxiety, heaviness in your emotions, in your mind. I'm going to deal with that tomorrow. 10 a.m. service at Heaven's Best. Healing and Deliverance Church. So, I love you. I'm going to turn you off first. Uh, Periscope, God bless you. In Jesus' name.